Airframe landing gear oral questions. What is the purpose of a torque link on an oleo strut? To keep the wheel in alignment and to prevent the piston from coming out of the cylinder. A landing gear shock strut should be inflated with wet gas or gases. Nitrogen or dry air. What conditions should a mechanic look for during a regular inspection of the exposed piston section of a landing gear? Evidence of damage, proper extension, and cleanliness. What prevents air from leaking out between the two halves of a split wheel assembly? There is an O-ring. Why are fusible plugs installed on some aircraft wheels? To release pressure, should there be a heat buildup before the tire blows? What safety precaution must be taken when removing a wheel from an axle or when disassembling a wheel? Verify that the tire is completely deflated before removing a wheel from an axle or wheel disassembly. What are the visible signs of excessive heating on a wheel bearing? The bearing surface shows discoloration. How are the pilot's nose wheel steering commands transmitted to the steering control unit of a large aircraft. They can be transmitted electrically, hydraulically, or mechanically. How is the nose steering mechanism usually actuated on small aircraft? by means of mechanical linkage connected to the rudder pedals. What is the name of the unit that prevents a nose wheel from vibrating or oscillating? A shimmy dampener. What are the most common sources of power used to extend and retract landing gear? Hydraulic pressure and electric motors. At what times should a gear retraction check be performed? During annual inspections or other inspections and following a hard landing. What mechanisms ensure that a nose wheel is not turned? as it retracts into the wheel well. Internal centering cams in the strut or an external track. Name several types of brake actuating systems. Independent master cylinders, boosted brakes, and power controlled brakes. What is the function of an anti skid system? Anti skid systems allow large aircraft to achieve maximum braking effectiveness without allowing the wheels to skid or lock. What is the purpose of a debooster? It reduces hydraulic system's high pressure to a lower value for more satisfactory braking action. 
Describe two methods of bleeding breaks. A pressure pot can be attached to the bleeder valve and fluid forced back through the master cylinder or reservoir, or the master cylinder can be used by forcing fluid from the reservoir to the brakes. This is also known as the bottom up and top down method. What action must be accomplished before a brake system can be inspected for leaks? Pressure must be applied to the system. What maintenance function has the greatest impact on tire service life? Properly inflated tires. What effects does underinflation have on aircraft tires? Internal heat damage, possibly leading to the premature tire failure and more tread wear on the shoulders than in the center.